Ian here from Dark Place Workshop. Welcome back to another video. In this one we're painting Luna. Okay, so this is going to be the, the student version of Luna. We've already done the, the Lion Hat version. Um, Sometime in the future we're going to have the Riding on the Thestral version, so I'm looking forward to that one once I can figure out a colour scheme for it, but um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, as I say, this is a student version, so the, the colour palette is going to be fairly similar to the other students, and um, yeah, just hope you enjoy it. Let's get on with it. Okay, for this one I'm going to start off with the skin. Um, I'm going to do the same skin colours as you did with the, the lion hat version so it's, um, it's a scale 75 pale skin to start And with the, the hair, it's exactly the same again, that's uh, a shabty bone by Games Workshop with a little bit of Avalon Sunset in it, which is the yellow for the blonde part. And same again, it's uh, about 50% paint, 50% water. I'm not particularly concerned about where it goes because it's easy to cover if we make a mistake. So I'll carry on doing them and I'll come back in the next stage. So that's two coats of the skin and the hair done. Um, I'm ready for the wash now. I'm using the Citadel Sepia wash. I can do the hair and the face with the same stuff so let's concentrate on the eyes and the lips and the cheekbones and the hairline let's push it up into the hairline and just throw it on then <laughs> there's no great technique to using these washes You know the drill by now. Just let it settle into the recesses and the creases and the folds as to create some contrast in it. And I can start thinking about the next stage now. Let's forget the hands. Okay. And so the skirt, um, I've decided to try and keep things, <laughs> funny enough, uniform um, by matching the, the skirts with the, the trousers for the boys. So um, it's going to be the same as the Weasley twins. We did uh, German grey trousers. So I'm using my almost famous Hogwarts mix. There's two drops of paint, two drops of water, two drops of flow improver. I remember because it's been primed with shadows, you know, Zen 3 primed, um, this mix should keep those shadows because it's thin, you know, it's it's getting towards a glaze, but it keeps the uh, opacity of the paint. That's pretty simple. Whether that's the jumper or the skirt, no, that's a jumper there, isn't it? So that's all the skirt done. So with the, the German grey, I wasn't very happy with it. I think I. I think I'll go back to the old formula of just one drop of the, 
the flow improver because it's, it's too thin and it's just it's not acting like I like it to so we'll uh, we'll improvise and uh, go with a second coat but I'm just gonna stick to the you can see where the creases are in the skirt I'm just gonna put another layer into the creases basic really and hopefully this will give a darker tone in there so I'll go all the way around it's just keeping to you can you can see it's slightly darker there anyway so we're just trying to emphasize that now and the jumper now um, warp theme grey mixed with water and flow improver make a start on the hair then. Um, I've got a 50-50 mix of Avalanche Sunset and this Shabti Bone. Uh, I'm just going to pick out a strands but stay in on the, the uppermost part of the strand. So anything that looks like it's going into shadow I'm, I'm not going to touch. Like I may need a couple of coats of this, but I'll carry on. And we'll see if we need another coat after that. So I've done one coat, so I'm going to go back in and do another one. Um, this time, <laughs> I just hit my light. Uh, I was going to try and concentrate in certain areas, so like on the top of the head there. Um, let's try. There's like one strand there. <laughs> so I'm trying to emphasise that. two coats and it's looking okay on that bit anyway so and carry on down the back if you can try and leave some shadows there so you can get a nice little bit of contrast And then we'll go to the next highlight then. Okay, so for the next highlight I've added ivory to it. Um, bone didn't really make that much difference adding to the, the Avalon Sunset that I had already on there. So ivory is a lot brighter. So that's what we're going with. And I'm not going to go all the way down the back of the hair. I'm just going to stay up in about the top half. And any bits that are in that are going to catch the light from above. Oh, sorry. Got it. 
Okay, we'll leave that dry. Okay, so I've done one coat with adding a little bit more ivory to that mix. So it's getting quite light now. As you can probably see there. And I'm just doing the the crown of the head. So I'm, I'm picking out individual strands up the top here. And I'm only going out, well, I'm not even going down to the side of the head, it's just on the crown. Just to pick out the highlight. And it's starting to look pretty good there, actually, so I'll leave it there. Because I had to do a wee bit off, uh, off the camera, because it's... Um, too fiddly with the the camera and the lights in the way but what I did I got some German grey and there's a little line on the on the border of a cardigan so I've put a line of German grey in there and then another one in between the the cardi and the shirt or the blouse and then either side of the tie the tie is Avalanche Sunset and Ariel Yellow, uh, about a 50-50 mix, and then I put a dark red stripe along it as well. The the book is just like a, a purpley brown, you know, the Arbuckles brown that I used for the, the shade and the and the uh, the eyes. What I, what I forgot to say was the the skin on Luna is exactly the same as the, if you look back in the in the rest of the videos on the channel you'll see the Luna Lion Hat one I'll go through the skin on that one in detail so it's exactly the same process as on there so um, I think we'll be doing the skirt next skirt I've got a 50-50 mix of um, the German grey that I used earlier and a, a game colour uh, heavy blue grey or any kind of thing like a Mechanica Standard Grey or a, a Dawnstone and mix it in to your German Grey and I'm just going to pick out the raised folds and uh, use the side of my brush there to go up just to pick out the highlights So I'm just going to try another coat of the 50-50 the mix and I'll be staying up the top part of the, the folds. Okay. I don't spend a lot of time on these because well, <laughs> they're grey. Uh, as long as you pick out the, the detail on it, um, you know, they'll look pretty good. So onto the jumper now. Okay, for the jumper I've got um, some ash grey. And it's pretty thin, well it's about 50-50 water and paint. Uh, I'm just going to pick out the folds and go out there and push the paint up there and up because I want to create a, a highlight of the, the top of the chest um, there as well We're going to go lighter again anyway. I'm not going to put any at the, the bottom of the jumper because that's going to be in the shadow of her arms. So I'll leave that dry and we'll do another coat. A little bit of white to the slash grey now. And I'm picking out folds and I'm going to stay up the, the top of the cardi. 
I'm pushing the paint up again. And the creases on the folds, just on the top of the folds. So I'm not going under the arm, I'm staying up the top of the arm. Okay, I'll wait and see what that's like when it's dry. So for the tights, I'm using Vallejo's medium flesh tone. And I've added a little bit of black to it. Because um, I've, I've used this with um, some Batman stuff in the past, uh, like Zatanna. It gives a lovely flush. Uh, well, tight coloured. I'm waffling now. A nice colour to your tights. And then when you go to highlight it, then you just add more flesh tone to it. If you go too fleshy, just get a black wash and it'll bring it back into balance. Hopefully you won't need that. Uh, if you haven't got medium flesh tone, use Cadian flesh or something like that and just add a little bit of black. So I've added um, a little bit of flesh tone to the, the mix. And I'm going to highlight, I'm not going to highlight the whole shin because looking at it, I think that's going to be lighter there and that's going to be lighter there. So I'm going to stay away from the insides of the legs, I'll do a kneecap, and I'm pulling the paint up the way. So I just wipe my brush now and I'm going to feather it off or blend it in. Okay, that's the second Luna done. Uh, quite happy with the way this one turned out. I love the face on this one. Um, yeah, really happy. So uh, that's it for me for now. Um, as I say, get in touch if you need any help or anything you don't understand. You know, Give us a shout. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But uh, that's it for me for now. We'll see you in the next episode. Cheers.